couple decades ago, we didn't even realize just how much natural gas was trapped in rocks thousands of feet below us. Technologies made it possible to safely unlock this cleaner burning natural gas. Safely unlock, safely unlock, safely, safely, safely. This neighborhood went from full to an empty ghost town overnight, all thanks to a danger no one can see. Es una vida como para vivir la gente traumada. Nearly a dozen homes in Arvin remain under evacuation orders due to a dangerous gas leak. Nos dieron una hora para recogerlo. Lo más básico, bien básico, y sí salimos todos de la casa. After the evacuation, they started digging up the pipes. What they did is they closed a pipe that was in service that was actual that was actually leaking. And people in the local communities talk about what it's like for them to not have water, what it's like to turn on a faucet and be able to light the fumes that come out of it. Natural gas is methane. Methane is 86 times more powerful than CO2 when it comes to affecting our climate. The day of the evacuation, uh, the fire department declared that there is explosive levels of gas inside their homes, uh, especially methane, which we know methane is, is a component of, of hydraulic fracturing waste and, and, and oil operations. What all of this is doing to our environment, what it's doing for the climate change. The big unit that's behind that wall is the vapor extraction unit, and that's actually the, the actual um, exhaust where the, the chemicals that were being brought up from underneath the homes were actually being burnt off there, and they were just being, you know, exhaled into, into the ambient air. And people are oblivious to the fact that they're walking or riding their bike right in the middle of an oil field. Es como una bomba de tiempo que nos va matando de a poquito porque es mucha contaminación. Las grandes corporaciones, pues menos. No les importa. A lo mejor si todos los unimos y decimos no más fracking porque tenemos muchas familias y vivimos aquí, dependemos de aquí. We don't know the full effects of fracking. I would like to see a moratorium on fracking until we fully understand the effects of what is happening.